it's Caitlin and welcome back to my makeup room. So today I have an exciting video. This is literally one of my first advent calendars that I have ever gotten. And this one here is from Friends and Makeup Revolution. So this is their 12 Days of Christmas. I love the packaging. Like it's nice and sturdy. Like I definitely think you could reuse this box. So... I'm going to show you what's in here. I have no idea what's in here. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So, okay, guys, this is what it looks like. So let's start out here with day number one. That's what that looks like. Oh, cool. So in here, we got a friend's sponge. There's a little guy on there. That is so cool. It feels nice and soft and squishy. This is like the only way that I apply foundation is with a sponge, so I can never have too many. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, here is number two. So let's see what's in box number. Oh, cool. So you have this little collection of pink scrunchies. As you guys know, my hair is always up. So this one says Central Park. You got little ducks. And then you got the little mirror. They feel like really nice quality. So I'm excited to have these because you can never have too many scrunchies. Love scrunchies. I'm glad that they totally are, you know, made a comeback. So this one over here is number three. Oh, a lipstick. So this here is a lipstick. It is in the shade. I don't know. I don't think it has a name, guys. But that's what that looks like. Is that not gorgeous or what? Gorgeous lips there on the lipstick as well. Let me swatch it for you. Super creamy. It's a gorgeous mauve shade right there. Really excited about this. Okay, guys. Number four is right here. So this is more of a... I throw something every video. This is more of a longer one. And we'll see. Oh, cool. Did you guys see this? It is a mini little lip gloss with candy cane. So we got a nice, gorgeous red lip gloss. Awesome. Let me swatch it. Gorgeous, nice and pigmented. It almost kind of looks a little pinky. More fuchsia than red. That is awesome. Okay, guys, let's go to number five. Where is number five? Number five is right here. Oh, one of my boxes were flipped the wrong way. So it's another long one. Super, it's like super exciting. Oh, so we have ready to party check. This is a nice little makeup setting spray. Awesome. It's got little gingerbreads on it. So let's see if it smells like gingerbreads. That would be super cool if it did. See how the mister is. To, no, it doesn't smell like gingerbread. It smells like grapes is what it smells like. The mister looks great. Love me some setting sprays. I'm glad to have that. And then here, guys, is number six. They're going to fall. Six is down here. It's a nice, small, cute little box here. Oh, awesome. So we got a lip balm. Got the gorgeous little gingerbread on it. That's what that looks like. A nice, pretty lip balm. You swatch it for you. 
So it does have a little bit of color to it. It's got a little pink to it. There's that. Next is seven, which is right there. Okay, guys. Oh, it's another one of... Oh, cool. This one here is a lip scrub. So this one is in gorgeous frosted packaging, whereas this one is not. I like that. This one has candy canes on it. So there's what that looks like. Oh, it smells good too. I'm excited to use this and I love how it's a mini one. So this is something good to like travel with or throw in your purse. Okay, let's go to eight. Eight is kind of a big one. Let's see what's in here. It feels really light. Oh, cool. We got a makeup bag with the little ducks on it. That's cute. But it is very small. Very, very small. So I guess once you open it, it gets a little bigger. But this is a pretty small makeup bag. But that's okay. It'd be cute to like put a couple lip glosses on and kind of throw in your purse. So there's that. Okay, guys, here's number nine. It's another long one. Oh, cool. We got these cute little makeup brushes. They're so tiny. So we got this one here that has friends written on it. Kind of like a flat shader brush. Then we got this one here. I'm not exactly sure what I would use this for. It looks like it'd be like a foundation brush. To be honest, I probably won't use it. I'll kind of just display it. And then the last one is this little guy. And this would be a good one to like throw in your purse, you know, to help you, um, you know, touch up your blush with. It's nice and small, but it's nice and soft. And I think it'd make a great um, blush brush to use, you know, like in the purse, in your purse or your travel bag or something. You want something that's a little smaller. This one has little lobsters on it. They all have lobsters on it. That's so cool. But I will definitely throw this probably in my work bag. That way I have a brush to touch up my makeup while I'm at work. Okay, guys. Here's number 10. So we're down to the really, really big ones. This is cool. All right. Oh, guys, we got an eyeshadow palette here. And number 10. When your favorite tune comes on. This is awesome. It's got the gingerbread as well. If you look here on the back of the packaging, there are some that have stars next to it. That means they're pressed pigments. But this is gorgeous. So these size of pans remind me of what the Makeup Obsession um, little palettes are. Like we had the Exhale and the Inhale. Um, that was the most recent one. They're very small, but they're definitely big enough, you know, that you can get your finger in there to swatch it. But that's a gorgeous color story. I love pinks and blues. And this lots lights light shade is gorgeous. Let me swatch some. They feel super creamy. I love having all this. Oh, wow. They feel really nice. All this limited edition kind of stuff. Okay, guys. Then we'll go to number 11, which is here. Oh, it's another eyeshadow palette. This one has candy canes on it, and it said, Did somebody say party? Gorgeous. And as as well, you can see there are shades with pressed pigments. This one is gorgeous. You see those shades? This is definitely for someone, you know, that doesn't like color. I like how they have one in here that's colorful and then they have one in here that's neutral. So that way, you know, if you don't like color, you have something that you can wear as well. These are gorgeous. I think the only thing I say about this palette is there's not a really dark shade in there to kind of give your look some definition. So you might have to bring a palette in, but... They still feel really nice. Yeah, 
These are kind of the thicker Makeup Revolution formula. There's that one, so that's exciting. And then lastly, we have number 12 here. I wonder what's in here. Oh, no way. We have this cute little friend's mirror. I had no idea. I am really, really excited about this. I've been wanting like a little mini mirror. I don't want to blind you guys. But you see that? It's nice and cute. Let's see if I can find something to like compare the size to. Like here's the Simpson Slime Primer. You know, so you have a kind of a guess. But this is awesome. I will definitely be using this um, to kind of do some get readies with me. Or when I try some of these new eyeshadow palettes, I can have a nice mirror to look into. So I'm really, really excited about this. So let me know guys here if you want to see any swatch videos, if you want to see any um, looks with like these eyeshadow palettes. I'd love to do that. Let me know also if there's any other like Christmas collections that you'd like for me to check out. Um, I would definitely do that. I have quite a few other um, Christmas collections that are still coming. You know, they're in the mail so as soon as I get those I will definitely be filming with those but I hope if you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye